What's up guys, in this video we're going to learn how to deploy a React app using GitHub Pages. Now GitHub allows you to host a website um, using GitHub Pages and it's really awesome because it's a free way to host. You could host uh, you know, a simple website, you could host your portfolio website, uh, a lot of companies use it to host uh, documentation pages and it's really easy to get set up. So let's uh, jump right in and check it out. So as I mentioned, we're going to do a React app. So that's where we're going to deploy to GitHub pages. And React is one of the most uh, popular front end um, frameworks or libraries. And I think it's a good way to showcase how to host it on GitHub. So we're going to go through the create React app um, website. That's how you, it's an easy way to spin up a React app. You can just look at the quick start guide and we're going to use these commands to spin one up. So I'll copy the first command out and we're going to go to my terminal. Uh, I'm in the directory where I have my react projects. So we're going to post in this, um, this uh, command and we're going to name, change the name because this is where you put your name instead of my app. We're going to use react, uh, let's do deploy. So this command npm npx create react app. We'll create the, React app, and this is going to be the name. So let's let uh, wait for it to run. So that took uh, like a half a minute to to run to set up the React app, but now we're going to open it in VS Code using the code, and it's called React Deploy. So we have it right here. Uh, let's look at the source code. Um, so this is where the React app is. App.js is that's the starting point. I'm going to open the terminal here and use npm uh, start to run the app locally. So you can see it's running on locals 3000. And instead of this, we're going to run it, uh, we're going to deploy it and it's going to be on the website for anyone to access. Um, let's go back to the code and I'm just going to change it slightly to, so instead of learn react, let's deploy this react app. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to connect it with a GitHub repository. I'm going to save that commit. Let's deploy this uh, React app. So I have one change. Let's add that in. And then commit it. So keep mistyping it. Okay, so git commit. And let's just, uh, yeah, changed text on main page. Okay, that's there. That's so it's um, committed. Now I just need to connect with with a repository. So I have my repositories right here, and I made this one where we could. Um, so it's in the repository. We're gonna connect it with our local code, and yeah, we're gonna use this one. So I'm gonna um, copy that in, and this is gonna add it as a remote repository. I'm going to do git push since this branch is not on the um the github repository we're going to have to do this set upstream once you have that we could go back to github and refresh this and as you can see the code is here um you could even see the changes that we made let's go to src app.js and it's there now we're going to deploy it um using GitHub pages. No, not that one, we need this. And we're gonna take a look at a documentation page online. So on the Create React App website, there's also a section where that talks about deployment. Um, and you could just uh, Google that and go to GitHub pages section. And this will give you a step-by-step -step way of deploying it to GitHub pages. So the first step we have to do is add home page to package JSON. And depending on if it's a project page, which is what we have, it's, it's for this specific project called React Deploy. You could also set it as your main, um, or if you have a custom domain, you could do that as well. But we're gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna go to package JSON, and you could essentially put it anywhere. Let's put it somewhere near the top. Now, Instead of this, we need our username for our GitHub and then the name of the repo that we have. So I'm going to go back, see what I named it. So it's 
Kevin Tech is my username, React app. So we'll copy this. Um, let's go to here. I'm just going to save it underneath for now. But this is what we need here is for the username and React deploy for here. Perfect. So that's the first step. Now let's go back to the um, documentation page. So we did that. Now install gh-pages, which is a node project or NPM project, which allows you to easily um, deploy to GitHub pages. And we're going to use this um, to uh, install it, this line of code or this script. We're going to go back here and I'm just going to clear this um, and put it here. So this is what it's going to install the gh uh, pages package. And as you can see, it installed it. You can see it in package JSON. Now, next one. Next step is. So we have to, we could add these uh, scripts um, to package JSON. There's two ones, pre-deploy and deploy. I'm just going to copy those two and then place it here. And uh, yeah, fix this formatting over here. Oh, we don't need this. Uh, so I'm going to give an explanation of what these scripts uh, do. So the deploy is going to use the GH pages command and then deploy the directory build um, to GitHub pages. Now, what's important to note is these two commands. So about NPM scripts, when you have a word like deploy and then you have another command with the prefix pre, this, this will run before uh, the deploy. So pre-deploy will always run before deploy. That's what the prefix uh pre stands for in these NPM scripts. So this is essentially a way to just guarantee this command also runs before this one. And the reason we need to run this one is because this will build a production version of our React app instead of the local one. And it's going to put in the build directory, which we're going to see here soon. And then we're going to deploy that build directory. So let's just check if there's any more steps. Um, Tweak your, yeah, you could tweak it uh, depending on the branch, but uh, I think this is good. And deploy this site by running npm run deploy. So let's go back here and let's try it. npm run deploy. So as you can see, it ran this pre deploy and now it's doing the deploy. So now you can see that it's published. So it published that build directory to GitHub pages. Now we could go check it out. So this is our repository. And the way this works using GH pages is that it actually makes another branch on our repository called GH pages. And then it's gonna uh, put everything that's in that build file into this branch. So it's not gonna contain the entire code, just only that uh, the build version of our app. We could check out the settings right here and go to pages just to see how it's configured. And you can see that it's going to deploy from a branch. It's going to be that gh-pages uh, branch, and it's going to take the root, which means it's the entire uh, code base in, in that specific branch. Now, I wonder if there's a link to the... Let me just refresh to see if there's a link. Yeah. So you can see that my site is live now. It could take a couple minutes, so that's why it only showed up. And you can see our site is deployed to this URL, which is the username github.io slash the repository name. In our case, it's React Deploy. And you can see the change we made uh, locally. And we just deployed this React app to GitHub pages. So that's the vid on how to do that, how to deploy an a app to GitHub pages. And you could deploy any kind of um, front end code and then show it to everyone on the internet. So you could actually take a look at this uh, link. You click. You could go to this link and check out the website. One more thing that's um, interesting to see how this actual deployment is done. You go to actions and you can see this, uh, you can see the workflows. And this is essentially what runs in order to actually deploy that code. So you could go here. Um, you could see that it's this, uh, it's pre-configured um, that GitHub does for deploying to the pages specifically. So this is all set up for you, but essentially it builds, it just does this report, build status, and then it deploys. And then you can see the link again. So if you click here, it's going to show that website. 
So thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys learned a lot and you're going to be able to deploy really awesome websites that you guys build and then put it on the GitHub pages. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.